Hey guys, that's Rinaldi here today. Now we are up close and personal today because I will be talking about a product from Avon and I don't know, but as a child, I remember my mom coming through with the Avon books and her asking me which product I wanted and which lipstick I wanted, all that. And I can't help but remember that they had this tinted moisturizer that I used. And you couldn't tell me that I was in the bomb.com when I used that, okay? I wasn't allowed to wear lipstick or anything like that, but during that time, I had my little tinted moisturizer. That's like my little special moment using Avon. So I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with Avon. You have used it in the past. So I am back with some products for their skincare line. This one is called the new uh, Vital Skincare Line, and it comes with four different products. It comes with a cleanser, it comes with the eye cream, a day lotion, and also a night lotion. So and the first product I wanna show you guys is this one right here, and this is the gel. This is what you're gonna use for when you are actually washing your face. It's known as a gel cleanser. And if you guys are interested in seeing exactly what it looks like, it does have kind of like a transparent kind of look to it right there. It was so, helpful as far as to get the makeup off of my face. It's good as far as making my skin feel clean. And I didn't feel like my skin was being stripped or that it was going to be too dry, which was surprising because usually when I don't use cleansers that are opaque, they tend to be a little drying for my skin, but I actually did not realize that. And it smells really good too. So I like the cleanser. The next product in the line they have would be this one right here. And this is actually the under eye cream. So this one is going to be used for the, it's called the eye gel cream and this is what you're going to use like if you do have any areas in the eyes which i know a lot of women have where it's like baggy dark circles puffy this is actually going to be great for you it's going to help as far as to make your skin feel more supple and it's going to take away some of the inflammation that you may have in that area for your eyes now honestly i really haven't used this one too much because i don't really have that area in my eyes i don't have that issue around my eyes but when i did use it on that occasion just to test it out i noticed that it seemed like my skin was more tighter like it was more youthful and supple now the next product i want to show you is this one right here and this is the day lotion and this does have a broad spectrum of sps 25 sunscreen now i like this product right here because i was able to use it under my foundation and i love the fact that they give you two different creams that you can utilize me i'm going to tell you exactly which one was my favorite but this one was really good as well as far as how it is this one is a bit looser and I'm pretty sure, like if you guys are looking, it's just sliding off my head right there. Like you see it? It's just sliding down. So this one has a looser consistency and is not as thick as the other one that is next to it in the line. And you guys can see that it just goes on very, very creamy and very light. Now I did use this one under my foundation, kind of like a base. I didn't even use a primer that day because I really did want to see exactly how it was going to work on my skin. And I felt like it was really good. Like. It wasn't giving me the exact effect that you would get from a primer where it makes it a matte finish on you, but I did feel as though my face was moisturized and it didn't feel like, I don't know like how to explain it, but it felt like I had a second skin on, if that makes any sense. Because usually when I have my makeup, my makeup on for too long, it just feels like oily and grimy and I hate that feeling. But when I did put this on first, my skin felt moisturized and it felt like I could get away with using my makeup a lot longer and it actually made me feel a little bit more comfortable. Now, the reason as to why the nighttime cream is so thick and creamy is because obviously when you are going to sleep, that's the time when you're supposed to get your beauty sleep. You want all that moisture to sink into your skin. Now for me, I cheat. I'm not even going front, I cheat. I use this for both the night, the day, the afternoon, all of it, because I love it. And with these products, I noticed is that since it's so thick and creamy, a little bit goes a long way and you really don't have to use a lot of it. And I love it. So yes, those are my thoughts on this one. As far as how my skin feels under the makeup, um, it's a little heavier. I will say that it's a little heavier than the day cream that they have, obviously, because it's not meant to be a cream for the daytime, but if you have oily, but if you but if you do have dry skin, you can get away with using it. The only difference that I really noticed with using this one and this one with my makeup is that with this one, it felt like I had a second skin. And with this one, I could feel that I had a moisturizer on my face because again, it was so thick and creamy, but it really wasn't that bad of a difference. And it really didn't want to deter me from using one over the other. So I had to list these products from my favorite to least favorite. Of course, this one right here would definitely be number one. This one would be number two for moisture. And then this one would be number 
number three. The only reason why I'm not putting the eye cream here is because I really don't use any creams for my eyes. I don't really need to. So I do thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you would try any of these products or if you had tried this. It's going to be fun for you and I. I'm pretty sure everybody, like I said earlier in the video, knows Avon. If your mama didn't sell it, your auntie sold it or grandma sold it or maybe even you sold it, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite Avon product or what was your first Avon product. For me, I told you guys, it was that little lip balm. I think it was a part of the Christmas series. They had that little tinted moisturizer lip balm where it had a little bit of red in it. Again, you couldn't tell me I wasn't cute, okay? Because I was wearing makeup back then even though it was just tinted lip balm. Let me know what was your favorite Avon product and if you ever sold Avon or bought it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.